Hi, I'm Atsuko from Atsuko's Kitchen. I'm going to show you how to make kushiage with ponzu and goma miso sauce. You can have any the small piece of the ingredients. I've got courgette, corn, baby corn, and prawns. So securing the ingredients on the bamboo stick. Just so you don't go too deep, but it's just um, yeah, nice to hold it. And the prawns, you can make it nice uh, straight back. So basically, um, the prawns, after it's cooked, it gets shrunk. So you just go through the skewers from back to top to make a straight, straight back. Okay. And I'm going to coat ingredients in flour and egg, beaten egg. Then finally, toss in panko. So this is great recipe or great way to make a deep fried dish on skewers. Okay, so I'm going to keep making the rest of the ingredients and then I put them in the fridge for 15 minutes. So in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the dipping sauce. So there are two dipping sauces I'm going to introduce you. Uh, one of them is called ponzu sauce. So ponzu is uh, citrus fruits mixed with uh, a Japanese seasonings. So it's really fresh and then it goes well with uh, deep fried ingredients. So I'm going to add yuzu and soy sauce and a mirin. Mirin is a sweetened sake. It balances, uh, balances the flavour with the soy sauce. And then vinegar, rice wine vinegar. Mix all together. I'm going to grate on the grater to get the nice um, fine grated radish. So after you grate it, red radish, we're going to strain the juice out of this. Discard the juice and then uh, that should be, should be used for the topping. So the other sauce is called goma miso. So uh, we're going to combine with the other seasonings, which is mirin and sake, to balance the flavour. Okay, so put the miso in, saucepan, in a saucepan. And brown sugar, just uh, balancing the sweet flavour with the, the salty miso flavour. And a mirin. And a sake. Okay, so just heat it up until the sugar melts and an alcohol from the sake and mirin will be evaporated. So turn off the heat and then finally I'm going to add sesame seeds in it. Okay, so ingredients are ready, nicely coated in panko. So uh, heating up the oil now, we use um, uh, the rapeseed oil or rice bran oil, can be suitable for deep frying. And uh, bits of panko you can sprinkle into the oil, it's nicely sizzling. Okay, so I'm going to start deep frying the vegetables first. So using the skewers, putting into the deep frying oil. Um, you're not going to put too much ingredients in the oil, otherwise the temperature will drop. So just keep it about five or six skewers in the frying pan and deep fry until it's golden brown. So it's been about two to three minutes and it gets nice, uh, the golden brown colour. Take it out from the oil and then drain the oil. You can just um, 
use the stick to stand up the ingredients. Start putting the prawns. Uh, prawns takes about three to four minutes. So you turn it over a few times and uh, wait until it becomes golden brown. Beautiful. Okay, so the last one. Done. So while it's hot, it's time to serve. So I'm going to place the nice, the deep fried kushiage on top of the al alfalfa or any salad can be fine to give it a little bit of the colour and texture. Goma miso sauce is going to be served in one plate. So th those two are quite different character, so you can enjoy one, one of those to eat with. Excellent. There we have kushiage with ponzu sauce and goma miso sauce.